Hi guys. It is a gorgeous, but a little bit chilly, 63 degree day here in the end times in the hellhole of Atlanta, Georgia. Hot Atlanta, GA. It is Earth Day 2021. It is, I believe that would make it a Thursday, April 22nd. 2021 it is Earth Day and I cannot think of a better place to uh, to celebrate Earth Day than Atlanta Georgia my hometown uh, I have not been in this shithole town since 1997 I left here good God 24 years ago 24 years ago, pulling out of this shithole, putting it in the rear view mirror, claiming I would never be back again, and uh, never say never. It took me 24 years to get back to this hellhole. I am uh, riding around the loop road, uh, I-285 that rings Atlanta, Georgia. I'm actually pretty shocked to see that there's any trees left uh, probably you know just a little narrow band of trees uh, we're on the west side of Hotlanta GA I'll have to get downtown at some point while I'm here for the next few days uh, actually quite shocked to see any trees standing I didn't realize there would be any trees standing in Atlanta, Georgia on Earth Day 2021. But here they are. And I'm just getting in my place in the pack. Driving around in circles in Hot Atlanta, Georgia, which is what I did for 23 years. I watched this town grow. I remember when the uh, tallest building in Atlanta, Georgia was the National Bank of Georgia building. It was six stories tall. I, I think the NBG building was six. It might have been 16, but it could not have been more. Good Lord, that was back in the 1960s and uh, good God and what this place had become by 1983 when I got the hell out the first time. Got the hell out the first time, came back for a year in the late 90s to deal with my mama and and once she died, that was it. I have absolutely no feelings that I'm coming back home. I just feel like I'm being uh, immersed back in hell traffic it's three o'clock straight up the traffic is actually moving I would not have thought that the traffic that I would be actually going the speed limit at three o'clock in the afternoon down I-285 looking at uh, a thick carpet of trees on both sides of the road so uh, every once in a while I still get surprised and yep Earth Day 2021, I, I'm proud to say that I went from one end of the Yahoo News feed this morning to the other end looking for one article about Earth Day, one mention of Earth Day in a single headline uh, in the mainstream media news today, and I was quite thrilled to see that the words Earth Day never mentioned in anywhere uh, in the mainstream media today. I uh, A few years ago I probably would have thought that was a bad sign, but uh, now that I am, I've dug through enough layers of being a doomer, uh, I understand that never mentioning fucking Earth Day uh, in the mainstream media is probably a damn good sign. 
Jesus. But unless now probably I, I did notice that the number one and number two story getting the uh, number one and number two story on the planet today, Joe Biden. Joe Biden saving the planet through his ambitious climate goals. And I'm going to take a guess that uh, Joe Biden and the little lefty greenies insulted this planet by, uh, you know, kicking off one of the, this latest little dog and pony shows, uh, climate summits on Earth Day. Yeah, uh, you know, one more insult against the planet. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Joe Biden calling in the troops. I, I noticed Greta Thunberg. Greta Thunberg has answered the call of Joe Biden. And uh, she will be speaking at the latest uh, climate summit to save the planet. And I got a huge laugh. I guess uh, Brazil's Presidente Jair Bozo Nero. I don't know if if Bozo Nero is actually going to show up. Well, of course, I'm pretty sure this whole thing is being done on a Zoom call. So uh, I don't know if Bozo Nero is, is even going to go through the motions of going through a goddamn climate. Uh, summit, or at least he's going to have the balls to sit this one out. I hear that he sent a seven-page letter to Joe Biden that uh, Jair Bozo Nero sat down and uh, wrote a seven-page letter to President Joe Biden, basically uh, holding the the Amazon rainforest hostage telling Uncle Joe, just send me, so Joe, just send me one billion dollars a year. Uh, send me one billion dollars a year and we will end deforestation in the Amazon rainforest. Just, just, I'll just take that billion dollars and I will just run out all of these planet eaters in the, uh, uh, out of the Amazon jungle for a crisp billion dollar bill per year. Yes, uh, Jair Bozo Nero. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I, I can see Joe Biden sitting there, you know, with his mask on, uh, reading this letter from the, the, from the single biggest planet eater on the planet. Uh, breaking out his checkbook, sending Jair Bozo Nero one billion dollars to uh, call off uh, his henchmen in the Amazon rainforest. So uh, if Uncle Joe will just send one billion dollars of Americans, American taxpayers money to uh, to Presidente Bozo Nero, that will be the end of Amazon deforestation. Yes, I'm, I'm quite sure. Uh, well, Bozo Nero actually is a man of his word. Uh, come to think of it, uh, you know, he promised. Uh, he ran on the ticket uh, of raping and pillaging the Amazon rainforest. He promised, however many years ago. He was going to make the, you know, the number one goal in his life to rape and pillage the Amazon rainforest, and that is exactly uh, what he has been doing. And of course, he had this this absolute stroke of pure luck, uh, you know, with the Corona panic uh, helping him out in his. Uh, relentless drive to uh, suck the dicks of the global tor corporatocracy, you know, using the corona panic uh, as a cover story, you know, to help him uh, 
realize his dream of turning the uh, Amazon rainforest into one big cattle farm, soy plantation, and gold mine, uh, taking full advantage uh, of the corona panic on every level to uh, rape and pillage the uh, Amazon rainforest. The, the man is an absolute uh, out of control, bloodthirsty savage. But if uh, Joe Biden will just send him a check for one billion dollar, he promises, uh, I guess by 2030, that he will. Uh, and you notice how they use this, he will eliminate illegal Amazon deforestation. Uh, but the problem is, by 2030, there will be no illegal deforestation in the Amazon for two reasons. Number one, there won't be any Amazon rainforest left to deforest uh, legally or illegally. And any that is left, uh, it will just be legal. Uh, as it pretty much already is, you know, as Bozo Nero continues to dismantle every single one of these absolute joke Brazilian environmental laws that there were in the first place, uh, you know, doing his hatchet job on the, uh, on the Amazon rainforest. So that is how... Uh, Jair Bozo Nero is uh, celebrating Earth Day 2021, and that is blackmailing, uh, blackmailing Joe Biden, uh, holding uh, the Amazon rainforest up for a one billion dollar ransom, as uh, he does everything he can to make every tree being cut down in the Amazon rainforest make sure it's legal because there will be no environmental laws uh, it's uh, so I, I don't know what, what do you call it if there's if there's no law left to break you're not doing anything illegal by breaking a former law uh, I, I, you know, it sounds, sounds perfectly logical to me. Uh, so we will see if, uh, if Joe Biden, uh, sends off the billion dollar check to celebrate Earth Day while cheering on the Green New Deal. The Green New Deal, uh, saving the planet. I don't know if, uh, if Greta Thunberg, is Greta Thunberg, is she up cheering on the Green New Deal? I'm sure AOC is uh, celebrating Earth Day by talking about how the Green New Deal uh, is going to save the planet. Oh, Jesus Christ. And here in Atlanta, Georgia, it's just one more day, one more day on the planet uh, as we ride around and around in circles. Good God Almighty. And uh, I'm going to have to figure out how to park this goddamn camper in some narrow driveway. I have to back this goddamn camper into a narrow driveway in a suburban street in Atlanta, Georgia. And that's going to be how I'm celebrating Earth Day. I've already had a big, uh, a big bowl of Brunswick stew. To uh, I tried to see how many of my fellow Earthlings I could eat at one time. I know I identified at least a pig and a chicken. Uh, I think Brunswick stew. I think it might have some squirrel or some rabbit in there. Uh, <laughs> anyway, the cars are thickening up. And I had better watch my driving. Driving with one hand. 
pulling this goddamn camper through the thickening tra Atlanta traffic on Earth Day 2021, I highly suggest you get out there uh, and enjoy Earth Day 2021 while you still can. I'm going to back to paying attention to my driving my gas sucking truck while I still can. Oh my guys.